Hey guys, this is Joe over at Synergy 17 and today I'm going to show you how to uh, make a design similar to this one. Uh, someone had asked the question in the Teach Me That group, you know, how to get this arch in this text. So I'm going to kind of go over that and show you how to make this style. So first thing I'm going to do is just type in Hampton, all capital. Um, I'm going to change it to a block style font like collegiate font and then I'm going to make it 8 inches just so you can see. So on this example, they have the H and the N larger, so I'm going to take this, highlight the H, and make this like uh, just whatever size bigger, 130 point, and I'll do the same thing for this guy, 130. Okay. Next thing I want to do is, um, since I'm going to arch it up, I want to make it longer, so I'm going to grab the bottom and just stretch it down. Uh, go over here, choose your contour tool, and then uh, select this, and we want to go to the outside one step and you can tell it how far you want your offset out. I just have it at 0.1, which is fine. That's going to give me this little outline here. And I'm perfectly happy with that. So now you want to open up your envelope tool. You can do that by hitting Control F7 or going to Windows, Docker, and choose Envelope, which is right here. So if I choose the red part, which is the contour, you see you can't do anything. So you got to make sure you click on the black part. And I'm going to choose Single Art and then I'm going to choose add new and you'll see that there's a handle here. I'm going to grab the handle and I'm just going to push this up and that's what's going to give it this arch here. So when I'm happy with it, I just let it go. I'm going to close this because that's all I need to do. But on this example, you can see there's also this little outline here. So I figured, hey, why not do that? So I'm going to take this, I'm going to break the contour group apart. So now I have this part here, put it back. I'm going to take this, I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to add a contour on it, but I want two steps, and I'll show you, tell you why here. I'll change the color of it just so you can see, um, let's make it purple, but I want two steps, okay. And I'll just leave it how it is, I'll leave it the same spacing. Um, if you want it to be a little further out, of course you can change your distance. Okay, so I'm going to right click here and say break contour group apart. Now these two pieces are still connected because they were one contour. So I want to ungroup them. Right click, ungroup. Okay, and I'll show you what I'm doing. So I'm going to take this line here, hold shift in this line. So I selected these two pieces, so just those two. Okay, but now I'm going to combine them. And now that gives me this outline, which is very similar to this cold outline. Okay. Um, I don't like this little spike here, and that's caused because of this one here. So I'm going to, all I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to double click on this so I can see all the notes and I'm just going to delete them. Boop, there we go. So it looks nice now. The next thing I want to do is, I basically I'm done. I, the design's done. You can go cut it on your glitter and everything. But if you want to make a nice looking mock-up, um, let's do this. Let's, I have a little, a little macro here. I'm going to take, and I'm going to go to glitter. I'm going to choose royal blue. Apply that to the text. Uh, I'm going to take the red one and make it white, just like this one. And I'm going to take and make gold and apply that here to this one. So now I just need to put a box around it. Make it black. Hold shift, page down to the back. And now I have something similar to this. Last thing I might want to do is add some sparkles on it. Let's do five sparkles. One, two, three, four, five. And that's how you do it. So, pretty cool.